All right. If uh, if anybody can't hear me or can't see something, please uh, let me know. Just jump in and, and tell me so that I know. Uh, I had a class uh, earlier today where I was talking for maybe must have been at least 10 minutes. And uh, I was talking about what was on the screen and nobody could see what was on the screen. There were 42 people in the class and no one told me until about 12 minutes. So um, yeah, if something like that happens, please do tell me so that I can fix it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. If you can't see what I see, please do tell me. And um, what I'm doing right now is I am, I was looking at the remaining assignments uh, for the semester, the remaining activities. And one of the things that we have coming up is the finance activity. And, and uh, in this activity, we uh, have, the, have the instructions on how to create a balance sheet. There are, uh, there are three primary uh, finance documents that every business owner needs to know how to read, know how to create, understand. Um, one of them is a balance sheet. Um, the other one of them is a cash flow statement. And then um, the the third one that everyone should know how to do is a, a profit and loss statement. And I, I really want to I, I, I wanted to give you all all of the information on how to read them, how to understand them. But then there's some some other uh, document or um, activity that I think is perhaps even more important that every uh, small business owner or new business owner needs to know how to create and use. And that is uh, just a basic budget, just a basic budget. And so what, what I was going to do is I was going to give you the opportunity of not just creating a, a, a balance sheet for this activity, but also to give you the uh, option of creating a, a budget. So let me do this here. I'm going to and we're going to say, create a budget activity. And we are in November of 2022. And I'll give you the option. You can do one of the other, one or the other rather for this uh, activity here. And put the instructions in here. And So now you have the instructions for both, and I'll put these instructions, can you see, into the assignment. Um, what was the first one, a balance sheet? Or create a... <laughs> So uh, just to let you know, you can choose either a uh, balance sheet or budget. You can choose ah, either. Okay. So I, I hope that this was uh, helpful for you. Um, and let me, let me show you uh, just the basics of each so that you can, um, you can decide uh, which of these two assignments you'll want to do, uh, which you think would be more useful for you as an entrepreneur. So um, a balance sheet is typically uh, something that you would that you would use as um, as an entrepreneur to see once you have operations going in the business, kind of to see where your business stands, the financial health of the business. 
What are our assets? What are our liabilities? What kind of debts do we have? How, how healthy is our, our business financially? And the reason why I gave you that budget activity is because that can be a lot more helpful if you don't have a business up and running yet. Both of these, I gave you some sample, uh, sample ideas that you can use as a, um, uh, you know, as, as a, a tool to, to learn how to create them, but you'll be needing to create these for your own business if you, um, if you, actually have a business. Now, a budget is more useful uh, if you don't have all those numbers yet, if you don't necessarily have a business up and running, you can create a budget to uh, to get you to day one to launch uh, to, to the very first day of operations. And the sample that I gave you in here was for a food, uh, food business. And uh, I gave you an example of a common uh, home-based food business with using those new MECO laws, uh, allowing people to cook out of home and sell uh, food out of home, out of their own homes. And so uh, the, this assignment, you'd be creating a budget for that kind of a business. And either one that you choose, you just go through complete the assignment and then upload that into Canvas for that assignment. Not worth a ton. It's, uh, you know, just a, a point like many of the assignments that we do in this class. The, the point is not, um, you know, the point is to, <clears throat> to go through it, to learn, to, to, to get this knowledge, not to nitpick every little, every uh, little uh, detail and, and um, you know, you get, you get points for, uh, you know, points for trying and, and points for um, for uh, learning. I'm I'm assuming that most of you, and it looks like that's true in this class, are doing this because you do want to start a business someday. Okay, so that's the idea uh, for for this assignment. This is our finance activity. You can either do a balance sheet or you can do a budget. Totally, uh, totally up to you. All right. So the next assignment uh, that's due in this class. Oops, actually, let me go back to home. We are in week number what? We're the week of November 28th, so that's week 11, the penultimate, no, nope, not penultimate, there's actually uh, two weeks after this, there's uh, week 12, and then the last week of the semester, there's actually nothing going on, so that's, <laughs> there's no classes that week, so it is the penultimate uh, week, so uh, the, um, in week 11, uh, we have our, uh, one other, one other uh, assignment that we are um, working on this um for this class for, for uh, this semester, and that's your business revenue model. This is a very easy assignment. All you need to do on this is talk about, um, and I think we talked about this before, just go into the idea that you had for this, uh, the business that you are thinking of starting and tell us what your, which business model you, um, you think is going to be the primary business model for your business. Uh, for your startup. So many of you will have many, many, many different uh, ways of making money for your company. But what I want to know is how are you, what is the most likely uh, way that you're going to make the most amount of money, right? Whether that's um, whatever it is. And I gave you a, a, a link to some common um, business revenue models. Go through, look at the different models, see which kind of model makes the most sense. These are, you know, these are the well, list right here of the most common models. Am I a franchise? Is it a multi-sided platform? Is it peer-to-peer -peer business, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, once you have uh, that idea, let's say it was peer-to-peer -peer business, you go back over to that assignment. So here's the assignment for um, business revenue. Oops, so I have to actually fix this here before I give you that, hold on. One other thing, it doesn't look like you have the finance activity. Let's put this right here too. What slow? All right. Um, so when you when you do have that uh, done, you're ready to do that assignment. Go ahead and click there, and then where is? The, I'm sorry. Take take that back. How come I can't do this? 
pretty nice. Why is it not letting me do this? Did I do something wrong? Oh, right here. <laughs> Hello, Tanya. A finance assignment right there. You just go ahead and click um, up at the top, submit assignment, start assignment. Uh, then you can do a text entry if you have a link to, to <clears throat> where you've saved it in Drive, or if you just have a file where you've saved the, the budget or you've saved the balance sheet, you can then just upload it there, submit it, and then um, you're good to go. So, uh, bah, 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 bah. Lots on there, right? Lots to talk about, lots to do. Um, uh, one other thing I wanted to make sure to, to address before, since we only have one week after this, is we do have, remember almost every week you should have been going to a different event or activity on, on a Wednesday. And um, this week is uh, uh, no different. I believe we have something coming up uh, on this coming Wednesday. So this coming Wednesday would be, where are we again? 11. Mm, that doesn't have the week here. Let's see. Workshop takeaway. Oh, there. Workshop takeaway. Seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. Um. So, da, 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 da. no, that's the other one. I already went to that one. Maybe we're done with workshop takeaways. Let me. Let me. I'll go back in the syllabus and double check here. Oh, how many do we have left? Yeah, seven is the last one. So if you've already gone to a workshop takeaway, a workshop for number seven, you can just uh, upload that. And um, bah, 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 bah. if you have not yet gone to and, and done the last of the seven, uh, you can do check the Eventbrite, see if there's any coming up there. I have any coming up here. Looks like there's one on November 30th and one on December 9th. You could go to either one of those. Um, you can also find uh, another uh, workshop at um, <clears throat> find another workshop uh, that has already been recorded. Remember, you can watch the recorded workshops for I believe uh, two of them. You're allowed to watch uh, in place of going to an actual workshop. And here are all of the recorded workshops that you could watch. You still have to go through and uh, you know submit the assignment, but that's pretty much it. And I think uh, I think that's all that we have. Uh, left to, to do and talk do about. For an oh, break. sorry, I'm talking about uh, that. And then we have a deadline in December. Yeah. And then that becomes the teaching sorry. material. All right, perfect. All right, questions, questions, comments, concerns. At all? Wednesday, we'll be back in class uh, again if you want to, uh, to come work on a Wednesday. Uh, Again, uh, anytime you come on a Wednesday, you can um, work on any of your projects in person. Uh, we're always there from 4 until uh, 8 or 9 p.m. And you can come anytime in that window for um, for the class uh, and for, for help. So if you need any help, just come on by on a Wednesday. Anything, anything else you want to address? Any questions you have or anything we can talk about? Uh, Professor, I've been real sick uh, over this past Thanksgiving. So um, I had Sorry. a real, yeah, it's, it happens. I got uh, COVID. I'll stop recording so you don't have to hear. Oh me. yeah, the, yeah. Yep, so I'm giving more time for elevator pitches for everybody here, save. And I'll do an announcement about this as well because it's worth a lot too. So yeah, thanks. Any other, um, anything else, uh, Andrew, that you had questions on or? Um, and I hope you're feeling better too, by the way uh no i mean it's it's been not fun this past week so or in the week before but uh thanks oh, i hope you had a good thanksgiving i guess what's that I hope you had a good thanksgiving i guess you know it's been rough for all of us i just have to admit, i mean just to admit it's been rough i've had sick family members it's, I'm, I'm sick of covid i'm sick of you know the world is just it seems to be upside down right now war and illness and all this and, and so i think it's been rough for all of us so um, yeah but yeah, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, let's give people a little bit more time. Um, yeah, I hope you feel better. Due date extended. Professor, I had a question. Yeah. Uh -huh. for, the, for the finance assignment, is uh -huh. that due today? 
oh, did I have the due date as today? You know, normally it was, I can give an extension on that one as well. Uh, let me finish this and I'll, and I'll do that. Did you, did you see the date on there? Can you check and, and let me know? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me turn off my camera. You guys know what I look like. Two, please. So that has the instructions there, and I'll put the link here for the assignment. <clears throat> yeah, all the feedback you can just, you know, just you can even give feedback to mine if you guys haven't uh, done it. Professor, there wasn't like a, a website uh that you wanted us to use for the elevator pitch right because i just used my phone and i uploaded it and i don't know if that's oh the... yeah it doesn't matter you can do it however you want there's instructions on how to record it onto uh, canvas right there if you need help doing that but i don't uh, care how to record it. it doesn't matter to me because i wanted to go in but when i got COVID, i was like okay i can't go into class anymore yeah so. don't worry about it i was just that that was just to help people who didn't know how to record things or were having a really hard time because some people really had a hard time recording just using their phone so um however you want to do it is fine gotcha thank you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that's done. The announcement is done there. And then I'll go back to the, um, your other question was, um, let's see, who was the last minute? It was Daniela. Daniela, uh, your other question, did you figure it out if that was due this week? Uh, yeah, it says December 5th. So oh, it's fine. still yeah. December 5th? Yep. December okay. 5th. Thank you. Yeah, I thought I'd give more time. Cool. All right. Anything else? All right. And I'm going to stop the recording right here. I'll put a